It's Deep Focus. I'm your host, Mitch Goldman. It's Monday, February 5th, 2024. This is part three of three parts of this program with William Hooker as my guest and Sonny Chirac is our topic. If you haven't heard parts one and two, I'd recommend start with those. But start in either way. So bail out now or come along for the ride. It's deep focus. Um, and we are just setting this up. Can you dig it?
live music from Sonny Chirac. I'm going to take a wild guess. You've probably never heard that recording. Don't feel bad about it. That is truly a rarity, uh, not something that was commercially released. Our great thanks to the people of Radio Bremen for making that recording. April of 1990, Sonny Chirac on tour with his band Melvin Gibbs. I was going to say featured. Everybody's featured there. Everybody on this track is right up front. Melvin Gibbs on the bass, Dave Snyder on keyboards, Lance Carter and Abe Speller both playing drums. The show's called Deep Focus. I'm your host, Mitch Goldman. We are WKCR-FM New York, WKCR-HD, WKCR.org, 89.9 FM <laughs> here in New York City. Or, you know, you can listen to the show anytime you want, any place you want, on the podcast, Deep Focus Podcast, on that handy device that, you know, you can actually also use it to call people on. People don't know that about those electronic devices they carry around. They're always using it for the socials and stuff. But really, it's mostly for getting the Deep Focus podcast. And if you subscribe, you'll be notified when new episodes like this one come out, which will happen next week. And it's going to join hundreds of other episodes, all free, ad-free, yours to share and still have. You can send it to your friends and everything. Our guest tonight, I'm so happy to be here in the studio oh, man. with William Hooker, who um, I had to reel him back in. He was floating right out of the studio. And I think, um, you know what I was thinking about in that yeah, set? Yeah, Mitch. Yeah. There's, what are you thinking? I was thinking about the fact, you know, you're bringing me back to the experience of being with Sonny Chirac. There is an ecstatic quality that you don't hear in all music of any genre necessarily. Great. But I feel that with him. He's just reaching beyond. He's just uh, exploding out of all the things that bind us to this earth. And he's free. And he's taking us with him. And he has such a great band behind him. I mean, that was, I mean, that really turned my head around, as you could tell. I mean, here I am in the studio and people can't see it. But boy, when all when that kicked in, all of a sudden, I I mean, you could tell him, Mitch. I mean, I'm 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 like you know, I'm like what they call funk exhausted. <laughs> that was some deep stuff, man. William Hooker, drummer, <laughs> band leader, composer, uh, bringing a music and poetry program to. Bowery Poetry Club this Wednesday, February 7th, 2024 at 7 p.m. In the village. In the, in the village. And let me ask you yeah, what I, I suspect this band was touring a lot, playing a lot together over a period of years. Yeah. What does that do for a band when that happens, when you have that opportunity? Well, I mean... From my perspective as a drummer, uh, it doesn't necessarily bring that kind of funk to the to the to the uh, to the top to the top like where all cream should rise. Just because you're playing together a lot, that doesn't mean that you're that deep in it. I mean, I could tell Sonny Chirac as a as a band leader, he knew he knew who could bring it. He knew who could bring it. And traveling, that's fine. Hanging out, that's fine. But when it gets down to the thing, I mean Maybe it was maybe it was the the architecture of the song that did it. That's what did it for me because I hadn't felt what I just felt. I hadn't felt that in in the other songs yet. Hmm. And maybe my soul, maybe my soul just needed that. Just needed that um, that message. 
because you can never tell when that's going to happen. Right. I mean, you can right. never tell when that's going to happen. And you got to say, I mean, whoever's calling right now, we'll, we'll, we'll return your call in a second. But the point is, Mitch, you know what I mean. It's yes. like it's, it catches you off guard, just like it caught me off guard. I walk in here, and there yeah, we're going to play the third tune. And, I, and I'm saying, oh, man, it's like 12 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> here I was, and I thought I was talking all that. He, right? he was talking all that. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, but but see, you probably heard this before, huh? <laughs> may you, have, probably, may have. you said and, and, no, and then and then and then it hit. And I'll tell you, man, in, in this studio, I tell these people in the studio. All of a sudden, Mitch was in his zone, and I was in my zone, and there was no talking. <laughs> That's true. There was no talking. It was like that. I mean, whoever came up with that line, that that thing, and I could hear the drummer, I could hear the drummers because all those, all those, off syncopated things. I mean, I'm feeling it, and and I don't know. I I I just say that's that's the perfect solution. That's the perfect solution for me. I mean, I really needed that. And uh, but what was your question, Mitch? What you I say? have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> no, I was talking about. <laughs> I was talking about the what uh, to me. Yeah. I could be wrong. I, maybe I was trying to spoon feed some of you that, that I didn't need to spoon feed to you. Well, what you don't need spoon feeding. <laughs> what happened? Um, no, I I think so. This band is more or less been intact for a number of years. Okay, not touring constantly, but I think good they did a good amount of playing on stage together and I think this kind of you know, some of these songs go back to we've talked if you're just joining us more recently uh, Sonny Chirac kind of having a few different phases of his career, two big arcs really, one 60s into 70s and one 80s into 90s with a span of at least a decade more or less in between. Um, and some of these, so this is, we're now well into the second part of that second phase. And okay. he's still doing songs. He's still writing new songs and he's doing songs from that first phase. So this set, um, that song I think was not one of his early ones. The next one he's going to play is one of his earlier ones, as is the following one, continuing adventures of Zydeco honey cup and, uh, Venus, uh, upper Egypt, and, um, but I think mm -hmm. this format, the roles that they play, and these are, you know, you got a Melvin Gibbs on bass. I mean, he's a composer, band leader mm -hmm. with a big vocabulary and a lot of things he's thinking about. He's bringing to this, which I, I know Sonny was very well aware of. And the hours these guys have spent together on stage, I think a lot of these that musical bond, a lot mm -hmm, of that, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. glue gets to work its way into the joints and, and how that kind of tightness, that kind of reaching to the next level mm -hmm. maybe comes out of that. Because this is not, or you tell me, I'm not a musician. Go on, go on. These are not like, maybe they're playing funk, but these aren't standard stock arrangements. No, no, no way, no way. Uh, but, but yeah, no way. It's, it, and, and the beauty to me, is that they really provided a platform for each one of the people in the band. Mm. And they provided a platform when I was listening also to the drummers. They were providing a platform for uh, a lot of syncopation in there and a lot of, like, uh, off stuff, which, you know, it happens a lot. And because uh, I can remember that. I can remember those licks. And, and, and they, just, they just upped the ante. They upped the ante. So I, I could see it. I could see what they were doing. I could see I could see very clearly where they came from. I mean, but but it's just that when somebody lays that down, you just it's it's just I don't know. It's you just cannot deny it. Mm hmm You can't deny it. You can't you gotta I mean, if you do, you're just dead. You might as well just hang it up. And it really gives Sonny the opportunity to just to fly. That's right. He, it almost feels like he he cannot make a wrong move. <laughs> he can play the wrong note at the wrong time, but he can't do anything wrong. 
<laughs> right? Yes. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Because that base is so solid. I don't mean the no, BASS. The whole, the, I mean the, the, the yeah, foundation. Yeah. yeah, the foundation. Yeah. The foundation. And that's what's really that's what's really the beauty of uh, not only this music, but music in general. If that foundation is there, a lot of times you just feel like you feel it's time to soar, which is the purpose of music. Yeah. And I'm sure that, I mean, if people were getting, if people if people needed something to get down to or something to actually relate to, that was it. I mean, I can't, I mean, <sighs> wow, that, that, Mitch, you really surprised me with that one. Mm-hmm. You shocked me with that Whoa. one. And here I am thinking, oh, uh, he won't play Duke Dog. Uh, uh. <laughs> you came in here giving me a hard You walked through that door to give me a hard time. I have something. Oh, this is going to be fun. I have something to really ride Mitch about. I got to, oh, oh, good. I have something to really give him a tough time about. I know. I know. First in fact, I think minutes. I'll do it on the air. First 10 minutes. And then, and then all of a sudden, you kick my head in with this. Mitch, what is that? That's some other stuff. And I, I hope, I, I'll tell you, people, I can't play that one again. But if you didn't hear it, I'm telling you, that it, was nice. You've got to subscribe to the Deep Focus podcast. Oh, tell, them, tell them again, yes, Mitch. Please tell yes, them. Yes, it's called Deep Focus. You can get it on your phone. You that can, was you nice. Can, Sign up right now. You can subscribe, and you'll be notified when a new episode comes out. You'll never be asked to pay us money. It's free, just like listening to WKCR. It's an educational opportunity. And, yeah, hundreds of episodes, and this one will go up probably in about a week or two. I thought you were going to say, you'll never walk alone. You, you didn't say that. Oh, we'll be there with you. Well, every inch of the way. Oh, my God, no. I'm not going to get that corny. <laughs> but no, really, Mitch, Mitch, man, what is that? Let me ask you this. Yeah. Were you ever in a band like this where there was another what? drummer? What? And were you ever in a band where there were two drummers? I don't mean like in an improv situation, yeah. but this kind of like groove-oriented music. All right, let me think. Not two sets of drummers. I because I consider I well I consider uh, a person that that's coming from uh, like the and I won't even say Latin groove because that's not the right thing, but coming from like three drums, three mm-hmm. conga drums. For sure, example. sure, sure. Like a section, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I would. Uh, yeah, because I I I did. And yeah, uh, I was in this band that had like uh, three three. Uh, Congaros. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And I was the only uh, drum set, mm-hmm. and two of them had three drums, and one of them had two drums, and so they would have we would have like conversation. Yeah. So that was I was totally free, totally yeah. free to do that. Yeah. But two drummers like this, um, I'm not really one for that because i don't I don't know I don't know if it works for me I don't know if it works for me because i i well i'll I'll say this i I can't play like that ever again in my life hmm. that's probably why when it hits me i'm I'm like I'm just devastated, but I can't do it hmm. my mind will not let me do it for that long it will not let me it all of a sudden i'll I'll do something I can lay down the beat yeah for maybe about five measures hmm. and then the next thing i know i'm with sunny shirak <laughs> <laughs> well that, these guys i mean they are moving as one they're yeah in- they're moving as one but the other guys are, are pretty steady yeah they're pretty they're like rock steady as yeah. they say they're like rock steady i'm not mr rock steady okay well, like that it's another, not, it's another but, calling you no, have the things you do no no it's, it's just that mitch you got to remember like i asked you like i asked you mitch do you like to dance and, 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 and because you see, when you're dancing, and that comes in like that, you could just be—I mean, Mitch, man, it's like a whole thing. It's like a whole body thing, you know. It's like a whole like hand thing and gestures and motions and and hieroglyphics. And, mm-hmm. I mean, it's the whole thing. You see? Yeah. But a drummer can't be into that like that. Right. 
But you're a dancer and you're a drummer. Yeah, but the point is, if you put two people, if you if if you if you laid that down, you'd have to have somebody in there that's going boom, right? Boom. You have to have somebody that's there like that all well, the time. Know where that where one is, <laughs> right? Everybody's got to know where that downbeat is. I think so. I think so. Yeah, whether they're so. playing it or not. I think so. Exactly. Yeah. But but you see, like me, I don't know. Maybe there's something telling me. Maybe there's something telling me, William. Come back home. <laughs> Come back. Maybe it's saying that. I don't know. All I know is all I know is Mitch, you knocked it out of the park Whoa. with that one. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, man. It's what we try to do. Usually it works. You know what I'm saying? Usually, you must have taken yeah. my temperature and said, Ah, ah I got the Tried medicine. to tell you. I got the You weren't listening. You weren't hearing it. You were listening, you weren't hearing it. <laughs> but go on, go on. Tell these we, people what's going to be the happening. The show is called Deep Focus. This is what we do. This is what we do. We get a guest in, guest chooses a topic, and we, this is what we do. go into the archives and find some some magic. And William Hooker is the guest. He chose Sonny Chirac. And Sonny, um, I've been a, we've both been fans for a very long time. And, you know, these shows uh, it seemed like, a month wouldn't go by when he wasn't playing a night at the Knitting Factory on Houston Street. And if he was playing, there was a good chance I was going to be in the audience. And it almost feels like, oh, everybody had that experience. But I'm realizing not everybody did have that experience. I didn't have that experience with Sonny. He drew really well. He'd have good crowds. I mean, it took a, it over built up over time. And this band was a big draw down there. And they're touring it. And we're listening to this live recording, not released. If you love this music, you by all means should have some of Sonny Shrock's music in your collection. I think so. He made a bunch of albums, including some live ones, not so different from this, and some studio albums over a span of many years. And you'll find them on other people's records as well, including Miles Davis, Pharaoh Sanders, Herbie Mann, and others. And um, But his music as a leader and the, the live dates in particular are... It's just his voice. He's just singing. And that's what we're enjoying so much here tonight. Sonny Schrock with his band here is Melvin Gibbs on bass, Dave Snyder, keyboards, Lance Carter, and Abe Speller playing drums. We are in Bremen, April 1990. Should we keep going? I was just thinking yes. that this particular piece, after we do our sound check on Wednesday, mm. I'm going to let this piece play. All right. I'm going to. I have to. Yes. Because I want to get us ready for for the soloist that's going to usher in uh, the whole evening of Wednesday. And I think that a, a, a good way of doing that is for all of the participants to, to um, join together in some sort of a ritual. Mm-hmm. Because I yeah. feel I feel like that was that that tune was like a ritual. Yeah, that was some deep stuff. That was like really like getting into whatever. Felt like the whole room was moving in that one direction together. Right. Let's go step. into another one. And so yeah. before I tell these people, I wish I could tell you what the next thing, what the name thing. of that song was. But no, don't do uh, that. FCC <laughs> requirements don't do prevent me from doing don't so. Do but the next one, it's interesting. It's billed as the Continuing Adventures of Zydeco Honeycup. I want to say. Yes. On the album version of this song, I know. I think it was the Past Adventures of Zydeco Honeycup. I might be wrong about that. But here it's Why the, you bring these nasty songs to, to, to this place? Continuing <laughs> Adventures. I won't tell these people. William Hooker is at Bowery Poetry Club this Wednesday, February 7th, 2024, 7 p.m. Oh, it's a, a, good, it's a good thing. A very rich program of music and poetry and uh, don't miss the opportunity to come and it's going to be really can people come and say hello to you at the club is that uh do how, do have an mean, opportunity? how do you mean saying hello are you gonna are they gonna is there gonna be any kind of i'm the master of ceremonies what? no i'm not i'm not really a master of ceremonies. how do you mean to come and say no, hello? is there uh any kind of meet and greet or are you gonna be like because it's kind of a it's kind of an informal feeling place it's not like there's a Big That's giant true. Stage and a backstage kind of. That, no, yeah, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. It's not like that. But you've got it. But that's an that's an interesting thing because it's really devoted to the spoken word. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
And most people that, that would, most people should be real, should realize that a lot of people that like words, they don't necessarily like music. Yeah. And vice versa. Yeah, true. So when you combine these two, and they're both sincerely of high quality in terms of their own particular way and what they do, and they seriously listen to each other mm. about that, you've got something automatically that is different and strange. Mm-hmm. Because the personalities are, are completely different. Words, words, words elicit music, music elicits words, however... We've been, we've come into some sort of a thing in our culture, which divides the two. Hmm. I don't know why that is. Yeah, I don't know why that is. Uh, but uh, maybe, maybe, maybe the poet, maybe, maybe words. Um, in some cases, words are stiff, as related to what happens with music. Um, I have to really stop and think about that because there are a few that there are a few that I know have this mellifluous flow that it just continues and continues and continues that are words and those words may not necessarily be make sense but but you can hear uh, uh, it's it's almost like the waves going out, the waves coming back in, the waves going further out, coming back in, and you can feel that in the in the po- poems themselves, without thinking about the title, without thinking about the message, without thinking about any of that. Whereas music sometimes leaves you a little bit more open to explore that doorway of of um, your own creativity as to you deciding what that is. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I made any sense about what I just said. Well. But I do know that all of the people, we have like eight poets and we have like 12 musicians and they are all going to interact and luckily enough for me, they listen to each other. Mm-hmm. Wednesday night, seven p.m. Yeah, Bowery Poetry Club. Yeah, BoweryPoetry dot com. Three zero eight Bowery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By Bleecker Street. Wednesday yeah. night, February seventh. Yeah, seven p.m. And you're going to want to be there. All right, we're going back to Bremen. And Where's Bremen? <laughs> How do you? Bremen. Yeah, I get a. <laughs> How you do know? you get this? Uh, Did you study German or something? You studied it? Uh, it's just uh, I spent a lot of time there. <laughs> you did? Yeah, traveling around with uh, with these musicians. Oh, yeah. okay. I picked up okay. a couple little. Uh, yeah, I don't know, no, I get it. I get it. <laughs> no, I get it. No, all right then. Yeah. Um, with Sonny Chirac and his band. It's Deep Focus. I'm Mitch Goldman here with William Hooker and music from Sonny Chirac. Excellent.
you know when I'm talking over music, it can only mean one thing. We are hitting the wall. William, I, I can't believe three hours. I know. Time. That was pretty incredible. Yeah. It's been, right? like, like always, it's been an adventure. It's been a journey. <laughs> a fun one. A very fun wow, one. Wow, Mitch, you're all right, man. <laughs> you're all right. You're good to travel with. You are good. I gotta say. Well, William Hooker has been our guest, still our guest right now. And um, let me just remind you once again Bowery Poetry Club, Wednesday, Absolutely. February 7th, 2024, 7 p.m., music and poetry. And William, thank you for coming through and bringing the love. Thank you for having me. Um, you being the guest, there's a special track you want to hear, isn't there? Yes. Can I do it? Can Have I bring it for the folks? Please do. All right, stand by. So we can finish it off. And we're saying Just we're putting our fun fairly well. We, we love having you here. All right, hang on, hang on. Here it comes, here it comes. WKCR. Coming your are. way. Coming your way. Right about now. It's a miracle, Mitch! I can't believe it myself. Oh! <laughs> WKCR FM, New York, WKCR HD, WKCR.org, 89.9 FM.